But this is how you clean a catfish and keep as much of it as possible. I'm gonna show you how to scrape off all the slime. We're gonna gut it, clean it. And for this one right here, I'm going to fillet it. And I'm going to freeze the fillets and save it for later. All right, let's get started. All right, so if your catfish is still alive, you're going to need to kill it. So the best way to do it is right here. So right here on top of its head, just take a blunt object like a moose antler like this or something else or even a hammer and just smack down right on it as hard as you can and it'll stun it and it'll kill it. This one here died overnight in the water. So in order to get this clean, what you need to do is you need to scrape off all of the slime, but you will want to scrape off all of the color here as well. So you wanna get the skin to start looking white. And so you can take a knife and you can scrape it like this to scrape out all of the, the slime. But you'll notice after scraping it a while, none of that green is coming off and it's not turning white. And so the best way to do this is to actually pour boiling water over it. And the boiling water is going to break away all of this stuff and it's going to make it easier to clean off all the slime. And so I boiled some water already. And so you just pour some water over it. All right, so I'm gonna pour some boiling water over it. And you can already start seeing like there's a color change. And <laughs> look at all of that. That just comes right off. See? You want it to end up turning white like that. And so the best place to start is actually the tail. That's where you're going to hold it most of the time. So you want the tail to be clean and grippable because right now it's just full of slime. I'm just going to pour the boiling water over it. There you go. And I'll flip it over and do this side. And there you go. All that slime just comes right off. <laughs> so now that the tail is white like this, there's a lot more grip. There's no more slime on this section here. And so it's easier to grip and then be able to start scraping the rest of the fish. I'll pour hot water on this body here, break up all that slime. All right, I've got much of it turned white. I'm gonna do a little bit more here. Um, I kind of broke into its skin right here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna cut off all the dangly bits. So like all the fins and even the whiskers. In a situation where you need more nutrients and such, you can clean the fins and you can cook it. There's a lot of collagen in here and it's actually really good for you. But for now, I'm just gonna cut everything off. Because for this particular one, I am going to fillet it and I'm not going to need any of this. And you're going to probably need some heavy duty scissors for this because this bone right here is really strong. See the whiskers can be eaten also, but I'm taking it off for this one. There you go. So I'm gonna do some finishing touches, gonna clean up everything else here, and I'm gonna clean up more of its head also. This boiling water though definitely helps. Gonna cut it down the middle here like this. Oh, this one was fat because it had eggs. Yeah, look at that. Wow, oh my God. Look at all the eggs. Holy crap, this was a lot of eggs. This is just one sack. <laughs> and here's the second one. That's incredible. Look at that, that's freaking cool. This is definitely edible. 
I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat it. We'll see. I'll do some research. I'm gonna keep the liver though, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm pulling everything out, tossing it. Cut right here. There you go. Cut down. And I'm gonna cut off the head. There you go, perfect. I'm gonna cut right here, right behind the collar. So there you go, this is the collar and some parts of the belly here. I'm gonna keep this separate. We're just gonna fillet this. I think the best way to do it is just to start by the spine here and cut down. So I have it like this. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of running my knife down through. Like that. Down to the tail here, I think. There you go. So I think I've reached the middle here. Yep, perfect. Yeah, this is much better than I thought. Okay, good. So now, still follow the bones and keep going. I think I've gone far enough. So right here, Okay, there you go, a whole fillet. It's not perfect, but it's decent. Yeah, it's actually really decent. <laughs> Got a whole fillet like this, nice. And so what happened was I uh, cut down, see, to the bone here, and then the ribs kind of come down like this, and they kind of stop. And so, yeah, not bad, pretty good. But now, you just do the other side. Now right here, you just want to follow the ribs. And you only follow them down to a certain point and then they separate. There you go. So here is the bone with some meat left. I didn't do a perfect job, but it's decent. This right here would be perfect for a stock or some sort of soup. So you'll just take all this, boil it up. You've got some meat, you've got some skin. And here you go. Here's the second filet. There you go. All right, so everything is done here. I have all the pieces here. I've got two very nice fillets of catfish. Both have been cleaned. The skin is clean. So I have the bones here. I've got the head and I have the collar here. And I've got a bunch of eggs and some liver. <laughs> So that's basically it for today's video. It's just a clean and processing video. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna process these a little bit more and I'm gonna throw them in the freezer. And then maybe later on, I might take them out and batter and deep fry them or something. That's how a lot of Americans eat catfish, I guess. For me though, I usually eat catfish uh, in a soup or something. I boil it and I eat it with fish sauce and a bunch of other stuff, or you just slow braise it but I never have had like deep fried catfish. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, please smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing and check out some of my merch on my spread shop. And yeah, I'm just gonna clean up and I'm gonna head back inside <laughs> and uh, put this all away.